Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marky Rochelle. Thank you for clicking on my video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before we get started. So for today's video, if you have not read the title already, then we are going to be doing another throwback Thursday. So if you guys have not seen one of my videos yet or a million other videos, a bunch of people do this, um, I'm going to be taking a palette that came out a while ago. So it's kind of like a little throwback action and do a tutorial with it. So for today's look, I'm going to be using this bad boy right here. So this is the Morphe X Kathleen Lights palette. This came out, I want to say, three years ago. It might have even been longer. I don't remember for sure. Um, but it looks a little something like this. So again, it's a warm tone dream. You guys know that's my jam. I love warm tones. But I'm super excited to play with this guy today. It has been a hot minute. It was actually sitting in the way back part of my eyeshadow drawer. And it's been a hot minute since I've played with it. Let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and get started. Alrighty guys, so first things first, I'm going to pick up this shade right here from the palette. Unfortunately, they don't have names, so I'm really sorry, but it's kind of a really kind of light orange color. And I'm just going to start by going slightly above the crease, not very high, honestly, um, but I'm just taking windshield wiper motions and just buffing this color on. Um, notice how I'm kind of rounding out the outer corner. I don't want to go for that super like straight edged outer corner feel like a lot of my smoky eyes have. I wanted to keep this very rounded and more simple, if you will, like daytime appropriate smoky eye. <laughs> I'm going to take this color next so it's a little bit of a more yellow toned orange color. In retrospect, now that I'm looking at it, I really should have done this color first and then went in with the orange, but it's all good. You live and you learn. But I'm basically just taking that slightly lower than the color I used to start and again using windshield wiper motions, really, really just blending this in, buffing it on to the eyelid. Now to kind of smoke it out a little bit, I'm going to take this kind of uh, muted charcoaly gray color. Um, it does look kind of black, but honestly it's more gray toned than anything. Um, and I'm just going to buff this on the outer corner of the eye, again really rounding that outer corner out. And I want to make sure that when I'm buffing this out, it doesn't end up too far inward towards the inner corner of my eye. I really want it to be more smoky and kind of like a cat eye effect, but really soft. Hopefully that makes sense. Once I use this color, I realize it's just not quite quite smoky enough. This is like a more daytime look, but you know me, I, I gotta have a little bit more smoke than that. So I'm going to take this black color from the palette and just go right over top with the same exact brush. Make sure to tap off the excess since it is a black and it can be very unforgiving. And I'm just going to continue to bluff, <laughs> bluff, oh my goodness, buff these colors together until I get it to the overall blend that I want and we don't have any harsh lines. Next up, I'm going to grab this gorgeous emerald shimmer color. Honestly, I was going to go for one of the more muted and just kind of like skin toned shimmers, but I was like, girl, no, we got to go all out. We got to throw a pop of color in there. So I'm just going to be packing this emerald color basically three fourths of the way on my lid. I don't want it to cover the entire lid, but I do want it to have a little bit of real estate on the eyelid. And I am packing this on completely dry. Um, you could absolutely wet your brush first and then go in. You could cut the crease too if you wanted it to be more more vibrant but again I wanted this to be a little bit more daytime appropriate and honestly I did have to wear this to work so we were not about to be like nightclub smoky you feel me <laughs> um, so we are gonna be just packing this on the lid and then I'll go back in with the shadows I was using beforehand and again just blend everything out that way we don't have any harsh lines Now we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of winged liner action. So I'm first going to start by just doing a little bit of an outline. So I start with this line here, basically where the root of my eyelashes are, just as kind of a rough outline. The next line I draw is going to be from the outer corner of my eye upward in kind of a diagonal shape. Once I have those two lines down, basically I just take them and connect them to start to create that winged look. Um, the biggest thing with winged eyeliner, guys, if you're having a hard time with it, is just a little bit of patience and a lot of practice, honestly. Um, and I feel like less is more 
more as far as products. Start with a little bit um, less product to start, and you can always build it up. Just remember, if you start with too much, it's harder to take it away than just to add more. So I just really, really take my time and get the overall shape of the winged liner down that I want, and then here you'll see I'll go back in and thicken up that line. Also, a really important thing to remember that your wings are going to be sisters, not twins, so don't focus too much on making them identically perfect because it's literally impossible. Now I'm going to go ahead and define the lower lash line. I'm just using a mixture of that kind of charcoaly gray color and black color and just to kind of define that lower lash line. And then we're going to go ahead and buff it out with a mixture of the orange and orangey yellow color I used just to make sure it's kind of smoky and everything's nice and blended out. And for finishing touches, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes, add a little bit of mascara, and of course, add a lash. You guys know me, I cannot live without lashes. Right now, I've really been loving the Double Up Lashes from Ardell. They are some of my faves. And last but not least, I'm gonna use this whitish gold um, shadow from the palette and just do a little bit of inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. Once we have that all done, this look is complete. Alrighty guys, and that is it for today's video. I really, really appreciate you watching. Please feel free to comment down below and let me know what looks you wanna see next. And also, don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave. I would really, really appreciate it. And until next time, guys, I will catch you in the next video.